These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Learner and Row Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. I'm Faye Fredericks with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona. Former President Donald Trump hit with a $370 million judgment in the civil lawsuit involving his New York real estate empire. New York judge ordering Trump and his companies to pay $364 million. Judge found Trump liable for fraud in this civil case after he was accused of misvaluing his real estate holdings to secure better loans. Sons Don Jr. and Eric Trump also ordered to pay $4 million each after also being found liable on multiple counts. Former president has denied all wrongdoing, calling the case politically motivated, saying the prosecutor ran for office pledging to get Trump. Case is expected to be appealed. Developing out of the East Valley, Mesa police involved in an officer involved shooting around 830 this morning near Maine and Stapley. Police say this all began with a stolen vehicle. When officers arrived, a 25 year old man came out and they say approached the vehicle. Two officers opened fire. It's unclear what prompted the officers to shoot. No one was hit. Suspect retreated and was later arrested. He's now facing felony charges. The intersection of 41st Street and Indian School closed for some time this morning as police investigate a fatal pedestrian crash. Details limited right now, but police tell us a woman was fatally struck by a vehicle. We're working to learn more about the circumstances. Happening today, a memorial service in California honoring five Marines killed in a helicopter crash last week, including Sergeant Alec Langen from Chandler. He had just gotten married in Sedona last month. A private service is planned for next week here in Arizona. Developing tonight, the officer who shot and killed a 17 year old in Avondale last year will not be charged. Maricopa County Attorney's Office reviewing the case, finding officer Francisco Cardenas Duarte did not commit any act that warrants criminal prosecution. On February 21st of last year, Avondale police responded to a dollar store shoplifting report near Dysart and Buckeye Road. Based on a description, police believed 17 year old Amarion Hope was the suspect. When officer Cardenas Duarte approached Hope, a body camera footage shows a struggle between the two. Hope broke free and ran away from the officer. Then Duarte fired five shots at the team. Police say knives were found in Hope's possession. The officer says Hope tried to choke him and take his gun. Tuesday, the West Valley NAACP learned of the county attorney's decision. This was an atrocity. This it it, it threw even though I was expecting it, it, it threw me for a big loop. And I've seen a lot of these cases been involved in a lot of them, but this one, for whatever reason, it hit me really, really hard. Hope's family is seeking $25 million in damages coming up tonight at six. How Hope's family is responding to this decision. Plus, hear from the independent investigator who concluded the officer's actions were justified. Lawmakers in Washington taking another crack at a border bill after an effort earlier this month stalled out. Bipartisan group now proposing a slimmed down border package, including a $66 billion package for Israel, Ukraine and Taiwan. Bill would also restore the remain in Mexico policy, which requires asylum seekers to wait for their hearings south of the border if they came through Mexico on their way to the U.S. Despite the proposal, no movement is expected soon as the House is on recess until March. With spring break around the corner, Mexican officials are trying to reassure Arizona families that all is in place to be safe across the border. Envision the adventure story in Las Lomas Dunes. It's all part of a campaign promoting Rocky Point as well as Baja California as people gear up for their vacations. We're here to promote a spring break so families can come together and enjoy. However, safety concerns are very real in Sonora, and the most recent guidance from the State Department recommends Americans reconsider travel there. This push for tourism comes after the main port of entry to get to Rocky Point was closed for weeks following a migrant surge. That closure had a major financial impact on Rocky Point and other cities. Tracking your forecast, I'm Chief Meteorologist Amber Sellens, and we are headed into a beautiful President's Day weekend here in the Valley. Temperatures getting a little bit warmer. We'll start out tomorrow in the 50s here in Phoenix, 51 at 6 a.m., 56 at 9 a.m. Then we'll warm into the 70s tomorrow afternoon, hitting 76 degrees in Phoenix as high pressure builds in. This is bringing the warmth over President's Day weekend, but we also have a disturbance that we're tracking that could bring a few isolated rain and snow showers to far northern Arizona, mainly north of 
of I-40. The next storm system we're tracking moves in toward the middle of next week with more rain and snow chances here from the valley up to the north. That will also help drop our temperatures after a string of 80s starting this President's Day weekend. We'll hit 80 degrees on Monday, 81 on Tuesday. And then as that storm system passes by, breezes pick up, temperatures drop. Mid-70s expected for Wednesday and Thursday.